Welcome to the fastest stop in town. Today on Masech the Sechsubah's Daf Lam Ches, we are going to begin on Lamed Zayin Medbez, the second last line on the Amid Vloma Meila. So we're learning based on various psukim that a person is not allowed when they are, for example, Chayim Golis or Chayim Misa, to be able to simply pay and to be free. And because of that, we brought down the Pasuk <clears throat> which seems to be teaching the same din of kolcher masher yachara min adam lo yipade. So we ended up concluding that that is actually come to tell us two things. Either after gemar din, if a person goes up to an individual and says that this person's erchin is a lies upon me, lo merkulam, he said nothing because this is considered a person who's already uh, basically a dead man already. However, according to, this is actually a machlokas, or mechananim and akavya, he says because it is a set amount found in the Torah, so therefore actually it would work, and you would be mechuyiv to pay it the erachin. <coughs> and therefore the Pasuk has come to tell you that, uh, as the Gemara said, levi shemusayin umetzinu shemumosim bidi shemayim shenoisim momun meschaper lehen. We know when it comes to, not just by, when it comes to a uh, person who is Chayv Kares, also when it comes to the person who is Chayv if you would pay L'Chayra, that would be um, good enough, and you wouldn't be Chayv Misa Bidi Shemayim. And then he said, but you would think, maybe that's also when it comes to Misa Bidi that's why the Pasuk has come to tell you, and therefore it doesn't make a difference if it's Misos Chamuros <coughs> or Misos Kalos. So again, the Gemara continues, below Mameyua, Shouldn't we still be able to derive all this from this pos- other Pasuk? So again, That you don't pay money and then you're going to be potter. So again, Why do you need this Pasuk? Still this Pasuk is needed. Why? You would think as we continue to Lamed Ches Amad Aleph you would maybe think the following. Let's grab my papers for my tests. <coughs> As we continue on, maybe that's only the din that, again, you're going to lift up where it's at, maize and makatala, is only if you killed upwardly. Shalom nitnash kagosal kapara. That we know that there's no din when it comes to shaygeg, because to be chayv galus, as the Gemara in Mako says, it has to be that you struck derech yirida. However, in the event that you would strike derech aliyah, then you're, there's no such din. So therefore, because there's no din galus, So maybe in that situation, derech aliyah, the din is that you're going to just pay money. You'll be potter. Says Rashi. The kavasa b'shagig lo nitna the kapar's goals. Because it's a yapel derech nefila, so it's a language of falling down. The only time you're going to be chayiv is if you kill someone when you hit someone in a downward motion. Kamash <coughs> mulan. So this pasuk is coming to tell you even the din is by derech aliyah. Armali rava. So ham in the tana de bechiskia, which we said before. Now we already learned this concept. Not to make a distinction between derech and derech irida, the tana de bechizki and maki adam and maki behema. Why do we compare the hitting of an animal and a hitting of a person? So ma maki behema lo chalata boy. It does make a difference. A person kills an animal, hits an animal, whether it was ben b'shagi gomezid, ben b'schav lishin b'schavin, was intention or not. And here's the key point: ben derech irida or derech aliyah doesn't make a difference. If you killed in an upward or a downward motion, when it comes to an animal, you're going to be chayv no matter what. There's no distinction, and therefore it's the same thing. And here's the key words: It doesn't make a difference even if you hit upward. We already know this did. That there's no distinction, even derech aliyah, the same din applies. That you would not be able to simply just <clears throat> pay, 
Rather, you are potter, and said you're going to get a punishment. El Omer Rami Barcham Israch Safed Er Chamina Hanim Yol Hecha Desimi Es Enoi Vahargaba. Let's say we're talking about a situation where you blinded his eye, and then also you killed him. So in that situation, there's two things that happened. The fact that you blinded his eye, so that's damages, and that's also you go free if it was by Kanani. You killed him. Let's say he blinded someone's eye and he killed, but never acher. Rashi says, It happened simultaneously. You would think, <coughs> says Rashi, that you should actually have to pay for the value of that person's eye. And you would get killed. So actually, it's not coming to tell you that you could pay and be potter, but it's coming to tell you that maybe you would be high for both. We already learned <coughs> the punishment <coughs> is only mumling, ayin tachas ayin, not also nefesh. So we already know you're not going to be high in both. So look at Rashi, Miu Shamin Mina, the little Tevit Batarti. And we don't do both. Loshna Mace, but Oisamaka, Loshna Lomas. El Omaravashi is so sad that Ramina, Hob Hinishu Shechitsha Tayur, but Kanas. And as we said before, since Kanas is above and beyond the logic, because you're not just paying for the damages that you caused, you actually are paying above and beyond that. So because of that, it's Rashi says the Gzeres Melch Baalma. And every you would think, Afa Gab the Mikdol Mashal, that doesn't make any difference. Because when it comes to Adin Kanas, maybe you do have to do both. Kamash Mua. O Rabba, dear Machinishu, Shechit Shetari Bakanas, Ava the Mikdol Mashalim, so Haiko Kherim Ayavadle. There is actually is an opinion that we saw before that that's the Din. That because it's a Chinish, you would have to do both. So several katana kama the uh, the Rebbe Chananim and Akavia. So he holds like the Tanakama of the Tana of the Chananim and Akavia. It says Rashi Medarish lay the Omer Erko Shel Yitzli Hari Golai. So he's talking about the case uh, regarding if a person says Erchin on on this person who already had Gemara Din. Let's see the next Mishnah. So the Mishnah says as follows. You have a Naira <coughs> Shinis Arsa. So we learned at the beginning of this parak that there's a Din Kanas when you are Oynis Mafata, a Naira, <coughs> a girl who's between 12 and 12 and a half. And Lechaira, here there's an issue because we have Arison. Now, says Rashi, Venis Garsha, and what ended up happening was. You did this after she was already divorced. The il arusa shlonaskarsha. If let's say a person has bia with a naira hamarasa, we know chaimisa. That's actually a punishment of skil. Then sham kanas. Certainly in that case, there's not going to be kanas if she is engaged. Just talking about she was engaged. She we said because naira when the, the din of anis mafata is dafka. If we're talking about a basula. Not a ba'ula. So, but over here, the Chiddush is, even though she had Arison, but not the suin, she had Arison, and the fact that she had div- got divorced, <coughs> the question is going to be, what's the demand of Kanas? So, Nairish and Esaris and Esgarish, Rabbi Yosef, Guli, Omer, Eno, Kanas. He holds there's not going to be Kanas, and Gemara's going to explain the reason for this when we get to it. Rabbi Kiva, Omer, Yeshu, Kanas, or Kanas, Latzma. It's not true. Rabbi Kiva of our Mishnah is of the opinion, we're going to see this with Rabbi Kiva of Raisa, <coughs> that there is a Din Kanas. And not only that, but she gets the Kanas. It doesn't go to her father. So my time, Rabbi Yosei Galili. So why does Rabbi Yosei Galili say that by Narish and Sarasana, and then she was divorced, that she gets nothing? So Merkra, Asher lo Arasa. 
So it says that Ereson did not take place. Mashmaha Arasa in Lokanas. Once she had, was engaged, even though, of course, she can't still be engaged, as we said, because she be Chai Misa, but the Chiddush is, even if she was engaged, but now she's not even married, she got divorced, still the din is, no kanas. So he derives it from the Pesukah. Rabbi Kiva, Ashil Arasa It just means that if she's not engaged, then it goes to the father. Arasa Atzma. The Chiddush is, not that if she was engaged and divorced, that she gets nothing. It just means that she doesn't go to her father, but she'll keep it. Omiyata Naira boy by Geras. The Pasik says Naira. And we exclude a girl who is beyond that age. Hachanami do Atzma Basula. Volob Ula. Hachanami do Atzma. Are you telling me, maybe it's just telling you that, that the father doesn't get it, but by when she's a Bogaris, she gets it? She gets the Kanas? We never said that. We said once she's a Bula, once she's a Bogaris, <coughs> when she's 12 and a half, there is no Kanas. And for that matter, the that's hard to imagine. No, if she's a Basula, her father gets it. If she's a Basula, she gets it? No. It means that she gets, <coughs> she only gets it if she's in those parameters. But if she's not a Naira, she's a Bogaris, or she's not a Basula, she's a Basula, or for that matter, if she had Arison, even though now she was divorced, she doesn't get it. And her father doesn't get. So Armulok Rabbi Kiva, no, Hai will Arasim and Boyle. Look at Asanya. We actually need the Pasik to tell you the following. Ashil Arasa, Pralnara, Shinis Arsan is Garsha. Shane look kanas, dear Rabbi Yosei Glili. Again, that's according to Rabbi Yosei Glili. Kiva Aimer, Yeshul Kanas, Ukanas la Viho. And the Kanas goes to the father. Of course, Rashi points this out that this is Rabbi Kiva, Makshin Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva. We find. That there's actually two opinions, the Rabbi Kiva of our Mishnah, that she gets it, and the Rabbi Kiva of the Brisa, that the father gets it. <laughs> we know that the father is Zaycha, <coughs> when she's a Naira, that the money goes to him, the Kedushan money. And we know also the father gets the money for Kanas at the time of the Naira. So Makah said Kedusha Kedush Kedusha this Garsha Leavia that the money goes to him, even if she was engaged and divorced, it still goes to the father. Says Rashi, Miachar Kishekhizeras Umis Kadeshas. If she goes and gets married again, the father gets it. So I've Kasev Kanas Avapish and his Aris and his Garsha Lavia. So in Cain, Matamulam Rashil or Rasa, what does that Pasig mean? If indeed if she indeed gets the Kanas, even if she was once married, so what does it mean Ashil or Rasa? Mufna, it's just an extra words. Wahakish loy to make the following hekish Ladin Himanu Gzer Shaba. Never can Ashil or Rasa, never Lahon Ashil or Rasa. Ma kan nun af lahon nun, ma lahon shkolim af kan shkolim. My oinus. In the Mafata, by one place it mentions the amount, the number, 50, <laughs> and the other mentions Shkolan. So the fact that <coughs> we have this Gzer Shabba Mufna, so therefore it's come to tell you that it's the, the Chiv Knas, how much is it? 50 Shkolan when it comes to Oynes and Mafata. Rabbi Kiva, my chazas to Asher Lorosel Gzer Shabba. Why does he say that Asher Lorosel has come to tell you this Gzer Shabba? And Basula is literally, we're going to translate the word Basula, she's only going to get Kanas as Basula, but not if she's a Ba'ula, as we continue to love Chesim and Bez. Ema, why don't we say it differently? Why don't we say Basula Gzer Shava? Use the Basula for Gzer Shava. It says Rashi, Vavi Muti Ba'ula, Behe Kanas Ba'ula. Maybe there is a Kanas, not just for a Basula, but also for a Ba'ula. If she's already, she's lost a Basula. How do we know which one is the miut and which one we're using for the gzer shava? So mustaba shil rasul gzer shava. Why? Shaharani kariba naira basula. Because we use the words naira basula. Says Rashi. Alpha pishin is arsa is garsha. Even if she's engaged, 
and divorced. We still call her Nari Basua. The ha Nari Basua he could exceed Kroll of a Baula Shaina Nikaraba Nari Basua in Okanas. You can't call her a Nari Basua, but the Pusik still calls her a Nari Basua. It must be it's talking about a situation, not obviously a Basula, not Lafuki Baula. We have to exclude a Baula. But rather, it's coming to exclude that, that, that we're going to say, no, there is actually a din kanas when it comes to a girl who was once engaged and then divorced. Adarabba, the sul gzer sheva shahari ni karibu ha'ashil arasam. The mustabra ha'ishtani gufa, the ha'lo ishtani gufa. So he says it's logical that the arusa should get kanas and the bu'ula should not get kanas. Because... <coughs> When it comes to the girls of Ula, says Rashi, Upagama in Rav Kokach. The fact that she is not a, this was not the first time she had Bia, so obviously it's still a terrible travesty that someone was Oynes and Mafat to her, but it's not on the same level as a woman who was a Basul who no one's ever had Bia with her before. So therefore, the point the Gemara is coming to tell you is it must be excluding a Bu'ula from Kanas, but not this girl who is still a Basula, but she was just engaged and got divorced. Rabbi Yosek Luli, hi Svar Manale. How does he know this Svara about 50 Kesef by Einish uh, <coughs> and Unmafata, uh, that's Shkolem? So, Navkulem in the Tan, in the Tanya. Kesef Yishko Kamoyhar Habasulais. That you're supposed to give money just like the dowry of a basula. So this is how we derive it. We connect the two that just like the more basula is shkolim, so to over here um, <coughs> it's shkolim, and therefore it's come to teach us from that pasuk. So now we ask the question we said before: Kasha derbi kiva derbi kiva. So the Brisa says the Kanas goes to the father. Our Mishnah says the Kanas goes to her. So as you can imagine, trade to know I believe to Rebikiva. So Pishlam, Rebikiva, the Masnisin. I can understand the Rebikiva of our Mishnah that uh, says that she gets it. Lo Asik Zereshava. He doesn't learn this Zereshava. Lo Mavkali Lakra Mipashdil Gamri. And he uses the Pasik. Lo Mipashdil Gamri. says Rashi, the Asa Pshat Pashte. <coughs> that the Arusa gets it herself. El or the Braisa Asikazarashava Mafka Mipashdil Gamri. So why would he say it goes to the father? So Um Rabnachmar Yitzchak Karibe Asherlo Arusa. That I read the words differently. Asherlo Arusa. That she's not currently married. So one second, Arusa. And we're using the language of Arusa, Arusa Maskilahi. If she is engaged, we know obviously if a person would have Tashras with her, he would, there would no, obviously there would be no Kanas because he's Chayim Misa. So, Sachadat Ramina Hoyel Bechinishu Shechisha Tayur Bechinas, Avagav de Mikdal Mishali. You would think, as we said before, that once there is this element of Kanas, so maybe it doesn't matter. Even though he's going to be killed, maybe the din is that he will be required to pay Kanas. <coughs> because as we said before, it's a machlokas. There is an opinion that says that you are mechuyiv to pay kanas. So several look, Rabbi Kiva to Masnison. He'll simply hold like the Rabbi Kiva of our Mishnah that says the kanas goes to the girl. Terabam, kanas alami, lavia, v'yesham ma'atzma. La'atzmo amai. So he says, why to her? So I'm Rav Chista, Hacham Anarish, this Arsen Skarsha, Skinon, Ukamithli, but put the Rikiva to Masnis and Rikiva to Brisa. So as we conclude, which we'll stop actually here, that we see that, again, it's a machlokas in this regard, which is question nine. Well, me neating Kanas the Narish, this Arsen Skarsha, Lavadi Avadi Isla. So again, it's a machlokas if it goes to the father or La'atzmo. T A. <clears throat> Twenty-two. Naira shenis arsa v'neskarsha. Madin madina inin kanas. This is a little bit more lengthy. So either there is no. It's a three-way machlokas. Either there is no kanas, 
or there is Kanas in the question again who receives it. TB <coughs> 24. I don't think we did that. Adkan.